Oops. Oh, well. And I'm missing snarls. Come on. On who? On the important one. Okay, great. Come on, dude. Again? Good afternoon, Poke Sports. Welcome to another VGC Bounce Team Regulation H video. Bringing you Jolteon, folks. We have Jolteon here with the Volt or with the Choice Specs. Rocking the Ice Terra, Terra Blast, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, and Volt Switch on a rain slash electric terrain team. I guess it's an E rain team if you really want to get fancy with it. Um, rocking things like Pinkurchin to set the electric terrain. We have Wild Charge, we have Thunderbolt, we have Protect, and we have Acupressure. If you guys have seen the Hisui and Quillfish video from, from this regulation, you guys know I love Acupressure. So I hope that we get to use it in today's video, and I hope that, that, that it does make a meaningful impact in today's video. But otherwise, we do have a team with a bunch of ground weaknesses. And that's something that I think even the creator, Sin Gun Chaser on Discord, also known as Linus, I guess, went ahead and realized so a lot of Pokemon on our side of the field are have either a Flying Terra or something to at least deal with opposing ground types. Like the Jolteon does have the, the Ice Terra Terra Blast so that it can knock out the ground types before the ground types can kill you. Now, as for the rest of the team, we have the Pelipper here as our flying type to avoid the ground with Tailwind, Hurricane, Weather Ball, and Wide Guard, Rocking the Focus Sash and Drizzle, straightforward. Our Chalodon also straightforward with Snarl, Flash Cannon, Body Press, Electro Shot, Rocking the Fighting Terra so that the Body Presses do a little bit more damage. And then we have Sinistra on our side of the field as well for the redirection, for the healing, for the matcha gotcha burns, just in case. And last but not least, we have Sneasler because it's regulation age and everyone has a Sneasler. But also, Sneasler with Electric Seed and Unburden will be one of the fastest Pokemon in the metagame. You do things like Flying Terror Acrobatics on it as well. That's always fun. And then when you're in a dire situation, you can use a Dire Claw. Anyway, that's the Jolteon team. If you guys are excited to see Jolteon in action, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to blah, blah, blah. It's probably one of the worst intro stutters I've had in a long time. <laughs> Describe the Poke Sports you haven't done already. Oh, wait, that says, good out there. There's video. Hold the phone, that's a Blastoise. Okay, Blastoise is a little terrifying. It's probably Scarf, probably has Water Spout. Probably gonna hurt me a lot. And I have no real way to stop him, honestly. Um. Yes, I do. Wide Guard. Okay, yeah, we're bringing Wide Guard right away. I'm going to bring Pelipper. I'm going to bring Jolteon. That's going to be my lead. They're going to be sad about it. I'm not going to care about it, though. I am going to do what's best for me. Think about the outcomes later. Now, I could decide to bring Electric Terrain here. Just for the Amoongus. And honestly, yeah, just to stop the Ndidi, too. I think I do bring Electric Terrain. Then my last Pokemon should probably someone a little bit beefy, a little bit strong, a little bit scary. Kind of like a Sneasler. I gotta worry about... I don't have... I do have a lot of ground weaknesses on this team, but I do have to worry about, like, dragging at E-Speed, though. So maybe I do our Childon instead? Yeah, I think I might have to. Not to mention our Childon also does have a Soul Vest for the Golden Go, so I can be... I can take the Golden Go hits a lot better than a Sneasler can, for example. Unfortunately, yeah, I think our Childon's just the better one. My homeboy is petting an Arceus. Shiny Arceus, nevertheless. All right, yeah, they're just gonna water spout me. I, I, I see what's happening here. I, I see exactly what's happening here. We're gonna stop that. And we're just gonna click wide guard. And yeah, I think we just click volt switch here too. Just get rid of this Blastoise. They tail when they water spout and then I cry. Now, the one thing that could go wrong is if they have, like, a Weather Ball instead. On this Blastoise, too, or if they just have Hydro Pump and they go for the Hydro Pump on my Jolteon and they hit it. Because with the Tail, when they will outspeed, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just a matter of, can I stop their damage from smacking me in the face? Alright, keep it in simple. Wide Guard. Are we going to see the Tailwind? There's the Tailwind. We're gonna see a water spout now. Okay, thank God. <laughs> thank God. All right, good, great. Bye, see you later, Blastoise. This should one shot here. I'd be surprised if it doesn't work specs. Yeah, get out of town. Beautiful. Woo, all right, Jolteon, starting off fast. Getting the KO right away. Let's hard swap back out. Let's see who we're sending in. I think I'm gonna do our child on for now. 
Seems incredibly safe. I still have Terra's intact. Still not a horrible situation for us. All right, let's see what they actually lock in with now. Indeedy. Again, we could change that terrain too. I'm pretty sure I want to. Yeah, why not? I'm I'm not threatened by this talent flame, like at all. So let's just electric shot this Indeedy in the electric terrain and also in the rain. Let's give ourselves a lot of multipliers here. And also, let's just get rid of their expanding force damage. Okay, they're swapping out their Talon Flame, which means they're not swapping out their NDD. Which is good, because I attacked it. Among Us! Oh, you're going to be so sad when I get rid of the terrain now. Haha, <laughs> sorry. You're not putting anybody to sleep, pal. Nah, nah. I am not threatened by the Talon Flame. had no intention of attacking it. Our Chowdon doesn't care one bit about Talon Flame. In fact, not any Pokemon on their team really care one bit about Tal uh, about uh, our Chowdon. Like, they can't deal with our Chowdon. They're actually going to Terrastalize here. Aggressive. Oh! What? Homie said, indeed, he eat dirt. Okay, fine. Here we go. Never mind. I was proven wrong. They do have one Pokemon that could deal with our Chowdon. Dude, relax. It's not so serious. Jeez. That indeed, he can deal with my whole team now. I'm weak to ground everywhere. They just got a plus one through mirror. What is this Indeedee set? They just got a plus one through mirror herb in defense. <laughs> this game's gonna be harder than I thought, huh? All right, all right. Okay, fine. You know, I get it. Let's acupressure and let's hard swap back into Pelipper here. <laughs> so aggressive. Dude, that ground tear is so unhinged. It is so unhinged. Welcome to the, the 10 a.m. ladder, everybody. This is what you see here on the 10 a.m. ladder. You see Pekurchin, Jolteon, and then Terra Ground, Terra Blast, Indeedy Mail. Where am I? They're at least thinking these turns through, like, really deeply. They're definitely thinking between these turns a lot more than I am. Alright, let's end in the Pelipper. They hard swap the Among Us out because they realize Among Us is Among Us. Can't do much in this situation. I could have T-Bolted to that Among Us slot. Maybe predicting that switch, but nah. Alright, Terra Blast. Nah, nah. Come on, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall for the same trick twice. Acupressure activate! Evasiveness raises! Perfect! That's all I needed here. Let's T-Bolt the Talon Flame. And let's Hurricane just in case they hard swap back into the Among Us. To preserve the terrain, I guess. They're Mirror Herbs, so I could just go for Weather Ball and one-shot them, but if they hard swap the Among Us, that could be a wasted turn for me. They do. That's why I went for the Hurricane. Beautiful. It's a good turn then. Now, if I can get this T-Bolt off on this Talon Flame, I don't know if I take it down because I'm a Pink Kirchin, but I definitely heard it. They're just going to Brave Bird. Okay, after the recoil that they just did to themselves by critting me with the Brave Bird, even though I had evasiveness up, it's fine. It's fine. Still great damage on the Among Us. And we got some duckies. Nice. T-Bolt. Damage. Okay, good. Uh, there's still an issue here. It's good news that their Tailwind just petered. But now they're going to get their terrain back up on the field. I still want to make sure I preserve electric terrain so that this Amoongus doesn't win the game on its own. Right? I, I got to make sure I at least do that. So I'm going to hard swap out. I'm going to go back into our child on here. I can't protect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click Weather Ball on the Indeedee. Or at least attempt to. Because even if they do redirect it with Rage Powder, the Weather Ball from that range should still be enough to knock it out. 
I could only hope. Alright, the rank master, Stinky Air Chalodon's here. Welcome back. Oh, we got duckies, that's right, okay. They do still Rage Powder, that's fine. I'm assuming I'm getting Expanding Force right about now though, right? Terra Blast again, and they did target the right spot. I should live this too, too though. Yeah, our Chalodon's just eating these Terra Blasts like it's nobody's business. All right, we gotta try to force. I have an idea. We gotta get rid of the terrain, obviously. Unless they're specs onto that Terra Blast. Do you guys think they're just spec? If they're specs on the Terra Blast, they just lost. Nah, I don't know. I'm gonna go for the Body Press. I'm gonna hard swap Pinkurchin in. I have four Pokemon versus their one in Diddy right now. Like, I, I have such an advantage. I can literally sit here and swap all day. So let's just get rid of their terrain, lock in our victory. The Terra Blast again, they might be locked onto this. Into Arch again, okay. They will be knocking down my Arch. But you know what? It's time for Jolteon to get a second KO this game. It's time for Jolteon to come in, pop off. We still have a whole Terra to use, baby. Ice Terra, Terra Blast, good luck. Uh, sure, Acupressure. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The Ice Terra, Terra Blast is gonna one-shot. No matter what I do here, this is gonna be just the maximum amount of damage. Kudos to my opponent for sticking around, though. Knowing me, I probably would have left the second my Blastoise exploded. <laughs> but hey, no, we're gonna take this dub. Jolteon's gonna get a win here. Never mind, they're protecting. They're not Specs at all. Okay, but now that they see the Ice Terra Terra Blast, like... The writing's on the wall, right? I'm about to Accupressure myself, too. <laughs> Accuracy, I didn't need that, but okay. Same exact thing. Not gonna change my mind around, not gonna change my mind at all. Turn off my brain, go burr. That's it. I feel like this battle is taking like a very long time, okay. Terra Blast is finally going to connect. Jolteon getting the second KO this video. Beautiful. Second one shot too. Jolteon only taking one shots here. Critical hit too. That might be unnecessary there. <laughs> might be a little unnecessary, but hey. I take those when I get those. You defeated friend. Friend GG. Thank you so much for that battle. Let's see what happens in the next one. Hopefully Jolteon can pop off even more. Ursa Luna Kama O, kind of a little bit of a trick roomy thing. Not really. They can kind of go either way here. And either way, I'm not loving this matchup. It's actually a rough matchup. I don't have a great way into. Come. I think my best way into this team in general might be Ice Terra Terra Blast. Like, that's the only way into this team that I can think of right now. And maybe if my Sneasler puts them to sleep, like I, I, that's legitimately my, my next strategy is going to be putting something to sleep with Sneasler. I'm going to need the, the electric terrain here as well because I do have electric seed and they have an Amoongus on their side of the field. And Pelper needs to be my last mon here because I need something that can deal with that Earth. I need something that can deal with that Ensign. Something that can deal with the Amoongus. Yeah, Pelper is just always my best choice here too. Scary match though, a lot scarier than last game. I'm not trying to say anything bad about my last opponent, but I'm just saying in general, this team is thick looking. This team looks like it tops cuts tournaments, you know? You don't really see indeed male top cutting tournaments with ground terror, terra blast, but you do see things like um, Porygon 2 in Cinnamonga's Golden Go. You know? <laughs> it's gonna be a hard team to crack through. I might not win, but I will try to win. Now, Jolteon is almost always gonna have to be my Terra here, right? So it, it has to be. Ice Terra is my best answer to the majority of that team. But I don't, I have to find the correct time to pull it off. Cause I can't just whip it out turn one unless the opportunity is just like right there. Porygon 2, Golden Go. Okay, so right now the opportunity is not here. Right now, unfortunately, my opportunity is to stop Trick Room at all costs. They are definitely going to Ghost Tear on me, so that's why I'm not even going to bother clicking Close Combat. I'm just going to click Dire Claw instead and pray. 
And here, I'm just gonna go for the raw Shadow Ball into the Golden Ghost. Since I'm not gonna knock out the Porygon 2 by doubling into it anyway, I'm just gonna go for the Dire Claw. I'm gonna hope for my 30% chance, and I'm gonna hope that that 30% chance is either a Sleep or a Para that fully Paras. Welcome to Regulation H! <laughs> We love it here. Here's the Porygon 2 Terra. No way. This is why we did not CC. Hopefully the Shadow Ball can like one shot the Golden Go. Unfortunate. Now I really need this Dire Claw to go through. And impress me. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing whatsoever. Here we go. We're playing Pokemon now, folks. I'm protecting. I'm going to Pinkurchin. <laughs> I'm going to the one Pokemon that can outspeed your side of the field. You just watch. My Pinkurchin do all the work here. That was a good protect coming out of them. I'm actually surprised they protected, protected at all. I guess they really just didn't want to take the damage there. Probably gonna have to hard swap in next turn too. I don't know. I don't know what to do with my Sneasler next turn, especially now that I just procked my Unburden for no reason. Ghost Terra Terra Blast, okay. On my Pink Urchin. That hurt. They double up into my pink urchin. The one thing I had on my side of the field that outsped them is now gone. This is horrible. This is not looking great. They're life orb too. What do I even do anymore? Like I, I'm kind of stuck here now. My team is too dang fast. Um. No, it's such a wasted attack. Let me let me go back and jolt you on here. I'm just swapping with like no actual rhyme or reason or cause here. Yeah, let's just go for weather ball on the golden go. I do not have what it takes to defeat this team right now. Terra blast again. I hate Porygon. Bring me down to like nearly exactly half. Okay, I do outspeed with the Weather Ball. That's kind of convenient, not gonna lie. It's nearly enough, but not enough. They are just abusing my Sneasler slot, man. Leave Jolteon alone. This game would have been very different if I doubled. Thankfully they go down to the life orb, but now I just have a whole Ursa Luna to deal with. Like it's not, it's not gonna make this game any easier. It's gonna make this game harder. Insane, gross. Hold on, if they don't have enough damage here in the back line, I might like low key be okay. I'm gonna hold Flying Terror for now. What if I just CC their Ensign right now? And Weather Ball the Ensign too. Yeah, I'll double the Ensign. Not me ignoring Porygon 2 this whole game. The thing is, they can only attack one Pokemon at a time. Now, I don't think a Ghost Terra Terra Blast can knock out either one of my Pokemon in one shot here. And right now, they just hard swapped into like very low damage. The Intimidate on my side of the field, though, it's gonna make them want to fake out the Pelipper slot, most likely, because the Pelipper can still one-shot the the Ensign. Yeah. All right, here comes the Terra Blast. Still doing way too much damage. There's the Flinch. Here's a CC. Not enough. Is there Trick Room over yet? It feels like it's been an eternity. It feels like it's been so long. No, it's not over. Oh God.
Um, I'm going to protect. I have no protector or else I'd go for it, but I can't. It's a sad truth. Let me attempt the weather ball, though. I'm just getting slowly deconstructed by this team. My team is not mentally capable of, of dealing with this right now. Oh, they switched the knockoff. Interesting. The incident is actually very slow. Wow. They do just terrorize my Pelipper, though. This Porygon, too, is just eating me alive. Guys, I don't know what to do, man. I I legitimately am looking at this Porygon, too, and I'm just like, a doy. <laughs> Nothing is working. Sneeze are supposed to get Dire Claws, man. What's happening? Yeah, I just lose. They reset Trick Room and I lose. I might as well CC just to get another KO. <laughs> I might as well get another KO. Look at me. I made this 2 and 0 and not 3 and 0. Nice little crit there. It would have been nice if I got it last turn. It's fine. Oh well. They trick him again. I do still have a Terra. <laughs> I don't know what that means for me, but I have one. All right, probably bear, right? Como. Hold on, watch this. Maybe. Acrobatics. <laughs> oh. What's sad is that? That, like, low-key, maybe? Nah. Probably wouldn't have helped me last turn. It might have helped me last turn. Who knows? I'm probably getting one shot here by this Terra Blast anyway, because I close combated twice, and I'm negative two now. You guys want to see a Sneasler disappear? Pop. Oh! Hang on. Oh! Game's still over, but oh! <laughs> I just got to crit through this. <laughs> nice try, Sneasler! Nice try. Like I said in Team Preview. This game's not gonna be easy! <laughs> Here you go, opponent. GG's. They got it. They got it. I was never in the lead anywhere that whole battle. You know what I needed? A taunt. I needed a taunt somewhere, anywhere. I didn't have one. GG's though. On to the next. Alright, another Trick Room team. This one with an Espeon on it though. I wonder if like, should I bring... No, because I don't have Trick Room to turn it off here either. But like low-key, Sinistra isn't horrible into this matchup. Not a lot of things on their side of the field want to deal with the grass move. Or a burn. There's just no way of stopping the Dust Clops Trick Room. That's what's bothering me. I'm trying to really consider what my highest damage output is and I can't find it. I'm just going to bring this, uh, Urchin. I'm going to bring... Jolteon in my lead. Body press goes nuts here, so I think I am going to bring Arch Manning. Maybe a late game Sneasler? I don't know. Maybe Pelipper just for the wide guard? Probably. No, I think I am going to lean towards Sinistra here, because they don't have a lot of Pokemon on their side of the field that can deal with Sinistra. Which means I'm not bringing I'm not bringing the rain here for my Archaladon. Archaladon's just gonna have to be a, a body press bot, which I mean isn't the worst thing ever, right? Still a good move. It still does good things. Oh, let's see what the lead is. Let's see what way they're going. They are gonna go Trick Room route with a Blurse. Okay. Me having two Electro types on the field right now kind of scares me. I just gotta hope that their Blurse is gonna protect this turn. Game. There it is. Hopefully the Blurse protects this turn. All right, they see them specs. I'm going to acupressure the Jolteon. 
What if I just accept Trick Room and Terra Blast this Blurs right now? I'm gonna do it. I honestly think I can't stop Trick Room, that's why I'm doing this. And I think that because I'm leading double electric types, my opponent's gonna be like, ooh, food, snack. And instead of protecting with Blurs, they might just attack. I'm gonna hope they greed a little bit here. See how greedy my opponent's feeling. Here's my Terrasalization. Do they do the same? Ice Terra time. You got this, Elsa. They are gonna Terra. Okay, who? Okay, it's gonna be the Blurs, which is good news and bad news. Mostly bad news, though. It's bad news because it means they are not weak to my ice anymore, but it's good news because it means they're not protecting, so at least I'm hitting something. Um, it's not what I wanted to hit, though. I wanted to hit that ground type, and I didn't get it. Now they're just hyper-voicing. Ouch, 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 ouch. We living, though. Okay. They throat spray. Fascinating. Accurate pressure, give me something good. I mean, that would have been nice if I had it earlier. Okay, good news is my pink urchin should actually outspeed, right? So I could just throw a thunderbolt at him now. Maybe a hard swap out here. Go into a sinister. Yeah. That's actually not that bad. Ooh, in comes Ndidi now. Which means they're probably protecting Blurs to keep Blurs healthy. Or just to get rid of my terrain, too. I'm losing a lot of damage here by not having the electric terrain in the field. Yeah, I might not grab the KO. At least I'm getting some HP. Let's see. Oh, yes, it's enough. They still don't, they're good. Thank God, they were throats right now to solve this. All right, knocking out a Blurks is a big, big turn for us. That's a giant turn for us. I have like no damage on my side of the field now though. But neither do they, right? They have like one other Pokemon they can use. Oh, that, but that one's fast. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I definitely don't want to take uh, a, an Expanding Force to the face. So I'm gonna hard swap my terrain out. Uh, let's just throw Macha at them. They might have to undo Trick Room here. Let's get my Arch on the field to take this Expanding Force. That's fine. Yeah, they're undoing Trick Room. It's the only reason they should protect there and, like, attack with the Ndidi. So they're trying to undo what they just did. That's some decent damage. Okay, yep, they undid it. But we're still putting a lot of pressure on him. I'm gonna snarl. Do I just give him my pink urchin here? I'm just gonna match again. I don't even want to take away the terrain because they're, they're gonna try to fight me for it. Yeah, there's no point. They're gonna try to fight me for this terrain, so I'm just not even gonna play that. I'm not even gonna fight that battle. You can have the terrain, it's yours. Go for it. There's the expanding force. This is gonna hurt. Ah! Okay, maybe I should have hard swapped anyway. <laughs> that might have been the play here. Oops, oh well. And I'm missing snarls, come on. On who? On the important one, okay, great. It's okay, I hit the Snarl and the Dust Clops. Mach is still hitting like a truck, though. All right, how much HP can we get back? Not enough for me to want to stay in, that's for sure. Yeah, uh... Actually, I am gonna stay in. Cause there is... There 
There's no point into me swapping now when they could swap right back in anyway. All right, there's a helping hand. There's the expanding force. This will definitely knock out my Sinistra. It's not even getting close to knocking out my child on though. It's okay. I just need to hit one of these attacks. Come on, dude. Again? Bruh. I don't even... Come on. All right, screw it. I want to Jolteon now. I'm angry. Do this. <laughs> You're going to go down one way or another. That's through a faster evolution. Let's keep snarling. Yeah, screw it. I'm T-bolting it. Even if they protect, this is still my best play. Okay, they're withdrawing. That's fine. They are going to protect. Okay, fair. They are really getting lucky with these Snarls. I'm not going to lie. Like, they would not be having the kind of game that they're still having if these Snarls were connecting. That, that would have been a negative to Espeon that they would have had to keep swapping out of to reset its stats. Okay, thankfully the, the weirdness disappeared on its own. Jeez. All right, listen, man. E redirect if you want. T-Ball will knock out the Ndidi. I'll have my terrain locked in, or you'll have your lack thereof terrain locked in. You're definitely not going to get the KOs on, on a child on now. They might get the, the KO here on Jolteon, though. Yeah, that's who they're targeting. All right, Jolteon dropping. There's now a single targeted Snarl. I swear to God if this misses. They've done more damage to themselves with Life Orb Chip than I have with Snarl. Okay, nice. Thank you. Knocking out the one that I've been trying to knock out for two turns now. Oh, jeez. All right, good news is they have only a Dusclops left, and I have two practically healthy enough Pokemon. Dusclops thankfully doesn't do any damage either. Hello, Dusclops. Nice to see. I think we just go for T-Bolts, go for Snarls, call it a game. We'll win eventually. Okay, battle's canceled. Fair enough. They might not have any damaging attacks for all I know on that Dusclops set. You never know with the Dusclops. Typically it's Nightshade, but it doesn't have to be. All right. Two wins, one loss in today's video. Not too shabby. Jolteon getting a little bit of a showcase. Nice little little KOs that it got overall. Um, it's a fun team. It's a very fun team. Thank you so much to our friend Sin Gun Chaser on Discord for going ahead and posting this team on the Poke Sports Discord. It was a lot of fun to play. If you guys enjoyed yourselves here today, hit the like button on the way out. I'm Kevin Spokey Sports. Have yourselves a fabulous rest of your night. Peace out and bye-bye.